Welcome back. Hand dyed painting and printing. This is not your grandmother's quilting. A young artist has picked quilts as her main median. Joining us now is professional artist Maddie O'Connor. So we are so excited to have you here. Yeah, I'm so gl glad to be here. And then we're also talking about quilting. This is not what my grandmother was doing. This is not the thing that sat on the edge of her bed that maybe no one really liked. These are beautiful. Thank you. So can you kind of walk us through what some of these okay, are? Okay, so this is just a hand dyed bandana. It really shows off like some of the color that you can get when you dye your own fabric and like some of the patterns. It's not really traditional tie dye, but it's not, it's a little bit different. Okay, it's just a little bit softer. And you yeah. just mentioned hand dyeing. So mm -hmm. how do you go about that process? Um, so what I do is I use um, what's called fiber reactive dyes, which are a synthetic dye. Um, so they work on cotton and silk and so I, Add the dye to the water and then put it in a bucket and pretty much just leave it there until it's done and then I rinse it out and put it in the dryer. Okay, well some remarkable work there and this one almost looks like you could frame it and hang it up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh -huh. Okay, and then how did you actually get started quilting? Um, I've really been sewing for just about as long as I can remember. I'm really oh. lucky in that my mom and my grandmother both sewed and really encouraged me to make things. Um, I. I kind of stopped sewing in high school and really started focusing on like illustration and drawing and photography and that's really what brought me to the Kansas City Art Institute but it was there that I really kind of fell back in love with fabric and really learned how to dye fabric and dyeing lets me really pick the colors and pick the textures of my fabric in a oh. way that you can't really find on the shelf so it's really just a way to have this like really tight control and you know make things that are really my own. Okay and talking about making things that your own these all could really spruce up any home that can go on yeah. any end table. We could put it here on Better Kansas City. So tell me like the story behind these. Um, they started out as a way for me to just kind of like play with scraps and almost like make little quilted drawings, but they ended up being something that I really loved and wanted to make a whole lot more of. So I can really play with like a lot of stitching and a lot of different little techniques and really get a lot of ideas out without having to commit to like a really big quilt, even though I love big quilts. Okay, so this one, kind of a tiny quilt, right? And it yeah. serves as a purse. Yeah, it's a tiny quilt and it's a little bag. So it's, again, it's a way to kind of play with scraps and to play with piecing and to play with lots of different ideas, but I can make it into something that I can use and something that can be sold. So it's really a way to kind of like keep the process paying for itself. Absolutely. Now, I have to ask you just a personal question. Mm -hmm. When you were going out, your recent graduate of the Kansas City Art Institute, did you feel like it was kind of a bold move to say, hey, I love quilting and that's what I'm mostly sticking to? I feel like yes and no. Like for me, I didn't feel like there was anything else that I cared about this much. But yeah, I definitely don't see a lot of people doing it and I don't see a lot of people like really just getting out there with it. So you can be unique with it? Yeah. What, what inspires you to keep creating? Um, I don't know. I'm inspired by a lot of things. Like, I am a photographer and, you know, taking photographs and looking at the world around me really makes me think and makes, lets me um, make drawings and make quilts and, like, really just kind of take inspiration from all around me. Okay, well, we're going to wave the handkerchief and tell you thank you so much, yeah, Maddie. Yeah, thank you.